For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. and welcome back to my channel today this wig that i'm going to be installing and reviewing is in partnership with janet collection so this is the box that the wig came in this is their hd high definition transparent swiss lace in harmony and i got this in 26 inches so i'll leave all the information for this wig in my description bar down below if you are interested in purchasing so i'm going to be installing this wig using products from esha girl they sent me over five of their products to review for you guys so they sent me over their hair mousse their lace spray along with the remover the esha lace glue and this is their lace wand and they also sent me over their primer so these are the five products that they sent me over and today I just use, use the glue, the hairspray, the mousse and I use the primer. The wig is in 26 inches and it's a 13 by 4 parting space unit. So I just decided to go with a middle part because there is not enough space to do a side part. But I was just feeling the middle part. And this wig is not super thick, it's super thin. It definitely is a cute wig you guys so if you are interested to see how I installed and finesse this gorgeous unit from Janet collection well keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet give this video a big thumbs up and to comment down in the comment section bar down below so with no further ado let's jump right into the installation process so the unit that I'm going to be installing and reviewing today is in partnership with Janet collection they sent me over their HD high definition transparent Swiss lace unit and this wig is called Harmony and I received this wig in 26 inches so along with the wig you get a pamphlet with the hair care instructions on the inside how you can maintain the wig so a bit about this wig this is a natural black color unit it has a 13 by 4 parting a bit about the cap construction on the inside of the unit it has two combs on each side one to the back and it also comes with adjustable straps so you can adjust this wig to your particular liking so i did went ahead to bleach the knots on this wig so let's jump right into the insulation of this 26 inch unit that i got from janet collect so you guys your girl is back have been feeling a bit sick for the past few weeks so that's why i haven't done any hair videos so so i'm back today not feeling too well but you know i just gotta get this video done for you guys this video is in partnership with janet collection and the escher girl line so the wig came in this here so right here it's from janet collection and this is their wig in harmony and i got it in 26 inches i did like. went ahead to bleach the knot i went ahead to do a middle part because this unit is a 13 by 4 so it really doesn't have much parting space to the side and i did wash it and i just flat ironed the unit a little bit so they also the sent me some hair products that i'm going to be using today which is also in partnership with janet collection they sent me five products to test out i'm going to be using these products today they sent me over their glue this is their glue this is the esha luxury wig fashion absolute lace wand glue so it's in this wand and all you have to do is twist the bottom and the glue comes up 
and it's a precision sharp glue so you can put it in your handbag if you are traveling so this is a nice size glue that you can take when you're traveling and they also sent me over their primer their guard and grip primer so this is what I'm going to be using to begin so I'm just install. going to use this before I begin my install I'm just gonna spray it on a piece of tissue and just wipe it along so it's kind of form of rubbing alcohol it has this not too bad scent but <laughs> a bit about this wig although it's nice the quality on the wig is not super thick but one thing i love about this wig is that it's in jet black you know most wigs come in a natural black color or natural brown but this came in a black color if you have a big head like myself it's definitely a no-no for me i want to be tinting the lace and today to take my lace I'm using my black radiance contour they did say it's a Swiss lace you guys however this lace is super hard and it doesn't have any stretch to it which is actually a downfall because if you have a big head like myself the struggle is gonna be super real to get it on so once I'm done tinting the inside of the lace as you can see I'm gonna be using their spray this is their glueless lace spray because I always use my got to be blast free spray to spray my lace inside before I use it so since I'm using their products I'm gonna be using this and I'm just gonna spray the inside so that it can set The wig is hella small. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut off some lace to the front. And I'm just gonna cut down the wig in four smaller sections. Because the wig is so small, I prefer to cut it in sections so that it could, you know, stretch a little bit more. So to begin the install, I'm going in with my Escher Girl Lace Wand Absolute Glue. And what I'm doing, I'm spinning the bottom of the glue so that it could actually apply evenly. And this lace glue has a precision tip so that you don't need to use any sort of rat tail comb or anything to apply the glue evenly so when I'm done applying the first layer I'm going in with a second layer of this glue and I'm just gonna blend that out so far I'm loving the precision tip on you this see the glue, glue is dry super clear you guys which I love and it doesn't leave any sort of mess like those other hair glue which I love so I'm just going to push the lace into the glue and as you guys can see this wig is a bit too small for my head but I'm just going to make it work. So I'm just going in with my spray from Escher Girl just to set that. I'm just going to tie down my hair a bit and now I'm going in with my wig dealer wax stick just to lay the parting space on this wig and then I just go over that with my thermal hot comb to make sure the top of this wig is as flat as possible. So once the lace has been melted, I'm just going to go ahead with my razor comb just to cut off the extra lace to the front portion. And once all the lace is cut off, I just go back in with my lace spray from the Escher Girl collection. 
So now it's time for me to work on my baby hairs. Today I'm going to be doing a minimalistic amount of baby hairs. So, so I'm just tweezing out a bit of hair to the front portion and then I'm, I'm just gonna go and take my razor comb just to cut that down. So now I'm gonna be taking my mousse just to put on the hair. So to lay my baby hairs today, I'm going to be using the Escher Girl Foaming Mousse just to lay them in place and I go back and forth with the mousse and the lay spray from the Escher Girl collection. So those are the two products that I use to lay my baby hairs today and I was super satisfied like my baby hairs didn't move like the lay spray finessed everything together which I love so I'm just gonna continue to finesse my baby hairs until I have everything in place and once that is done I'm just gonna melt the baby hairs a little bit more go over that with my blow dryer and let that set for a minute so I'm just going in with my flat iron to straighten out this wig a bit more So once I'm done straightening my hair, I'm just going to untie the melt band and this is how the wig is looking so far. I am definitely loving how the hair turned out. So I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 365 just to put that in my parting space and to the front portion so that the parting space can look a little bit more precise. So I'm just going to continue to work on that. And to set everything in place, I'm going back over with my Escher Girl Lace Spray and then I'm just taking my blow dryer to set everything. So to finish up this look, I'm going in with my ISO Plus hair sheen to add a bit of shine to the top portion of this wig. And then I go over that with my hot comb just to make sure that the top portion of the hair is as flat as possible. And I go back over with my hairspray to get rid of any sort of flyaway to the top portion. So that concludes the installation process of my 26 inch Harmony unit from Janet Collection. So see you in my next video and God bless. So you guys, this is the end result of my 26 inch Harmony unit that I got from the Janet Collection install a bit about this wig so this is the janet collection 100 percent remy human hd natural 13 by 4 harmony lace wig and i got this wig in 26 inches and they have length from 18 inches up to 30 inches and this wig retails for 296 dollars and 95 cents on their hair site and they also sent me over some of their products that i use today I use their primer. This is their guard and grip primer to clean any sort of extra makeup before you install your wig. And this primer has a, all of the products have a similar smell. It's not too strong. And the glue, this is their Esha. This is the Absolute Lace Wand Water Resistant Glue. So I use this glue today to do this install. It held up really good. And this wig is not big head friendly, but I made it work nevertheless. And they also sent over their Edge Lace Mousse Foam Edge Tamer and their Daily Glue Lace Spray Lace Wig Bond. So I also use these two products to do my baby hairs and actually the whole is fantastic. As you I guys really love see. these two products together to lay my baby hairs. So I might test out these two products again for sure to do another install. And they also sent the remover. So the remover is to remove your wigs. The consistency of this remover, I've tried it before because I've tested out Esha Girl products before. And it's more like an oil-based consistency as you guys could see. 
and it doesn't have a bad smell so i'll leave all the information for these products in my description bar down below if you are interested in purchasing so these are the five products that they sent me and so far so good you guys i love esha products so i was super excited when they reached out to me to review these products and the hair is just giving you guys this is how long the hair is it's super soft it's thin it's more like a hundred percent density like or one length is everything 30. the texture is everything so yeah so far so good you guys this wig came in a black color which i love so i didn't have to dye it it's like a jet black color you guys and it's definitely giving like this wig came out really cute you guys and i'm definitely loving it the only thing is that it's not big head friendly so if you have a big head like myself this wig wouldn't fit but overall the products from Esher girl are bomb and they are actually all under $20 if you are interested in purchasing them and this wig is on the $300 so you can't go wrong with that either so thank you so much for watching this video and until next time I hope you enjoyed it and always remember to put God first in everything that you do until next time see you in my next video and God bless.